echoed throughout every household in the country. And I feel it's necessary, and I'm, I'm happy with the verdict, even though it's still a sad situation to be in. Um, it, it's it's got to stop. Um, everything that's going on, um, we have to address everything. And, you know, the root cause, you know, everybody involved, uh, it's accountability. And, you know, this is what we've been asking for for a long time now. And uh, this, this is still just one step in the process. Um, there's more to do. And we all have more to do. We all have work now. We all know that we are to be held responsible for anything that we do. So that being said, it's, it's important to sit down and, and do some deep thinking and, and reflect on everything that we do every day. You know, it's, it's, it's a milestone and, and it feels like it. Obviously, it's an unprecedented situation for a parent of a school shooter to be convicted. Why did you think that was an important thing to do in this case? Because it, the bleeding has to stop. There's, there has to be a level of accountability that hasn't been there before. Um, this, we can't, we can't just continue living life um, with the uncertainty of whether or not our kids are going to come home from school or uh, are we going to have fun at the game or you know anything. It, it doesn't matter what circumstances, and it's necessary to address. It and, uh, if you, know, you guys can hear me. Long overdue. Accountability on this level uh, years ago could have stopped it. You know, it could have stopped what happened in Oxford, that's for sure. Mr. Schilling, it took the jurors a day and a half to reach a verdict. What was going through your mind during this time? It's hard to, I don't know if we have enough time to describe what's going through my mind because um, it's, it's tough to sit and, and wait it out and um, and, and trying to understand, you know, you, you grasp, you wrap your head around it and you, you try and grasp the gravity of the situation. You understand that um, it's not about, you know, my opinions or anybody else's opinions. It's about the facts, the evidence, and it's about the diligence of the jury. And this is what they did. They were diligent with their decision. They know and they understand the gravity of the situation and they know the importance of, of this case. and. Um, and the fact that they came out with the verdict that they did, it shows that the people have spoken and the people are tired of the uncertainty of every day. Can you talk a little bit about what this has done to your family and how you're holding up at this juncture now with this verdict? Uh, that's a topic I really care to get into very much. Um, the whole event has obviously had a lasting effect on my family and um, the, you know, the, the day of today, uh, dealing with the day to day situations and trials and interviews and press and, you know, it's, it's a chore and, and it wears on you and on every level. And the family feels it on, on every level. Does this give you, does this help you at all move forward? Well, we have been asking for accountability on, across the board, and, and this is, as I said, one step towards that. And I feel that uh, it's moving forward is going to not necessarily be any easier because of what we left behind, but it's, it gives us hope for a brighter future, and it gives us hope for you know, just something, some kind of, um, I don't know, I, don't, I kind of lost my train of thought, but. Well, you were very emotional at the sentencing. Have your emotions changed in any way after this? No, no, the emotions are always going to be there in the back of my mind, in the front of my mind, all around. Um, there's really no level of the amount of emotion that you can have in, in this situation and the fact that it's been years and, and it's still residual effects coming out and it just happens when it happens and it's it's always going to be like that something like this is um it's a life-changing event and 
you know, it's um, it's really sucks to be in the middle of it. I believe I read that you said something. If you tried not to think about it, sometimes it would get worse, and so it's better to maybe think about it. Uh, sure. I mean, it's pressure builds up, and you have to release, and you know, you can't just uh, let that stuff just linger. You know, you have to let it ooze out however it comes. You know, and the emotions come out in many different ways. Um, anger, um, sadness, and you know it's it's all there. I mean, the whole spectrum is is there, and you have to you have to let it out. You have to you have to do it in a controlled manner. I feel like I have to do it in a controlled manner, and um, it's it's it just it's just the way it is. It's the way it's always gonna it's gonna be for a long time. I'm sure. You mentioned that you. Were